guys welcome back to my video it's been quite some time where I did film a video showing my face so ignore the awkwardness on my community section I did ask you guys to send in any questions that you guys have whether that be about birds right muffin or if it's about me or anything above I guess and so I'm gonna read the questions you guys have I'll probably have um, a screenshot of the full question cuz Hopefully I don't end up stuttering, but anyway, besides the point, let's continue with the video. Budgies and Cockatiel Lover asked me, is there an animal that you would not get? Yes, um, the main reason is because space. So for me that'd be like snakes, reptiles, um, I really like leopard geckos, but I wouldn't get it simply because I don't have the space for it, and then... I think for snakes, it'd only be because I don't want to put um, frozen mice or anything in my freezer. So that that's about it. I don't I don't think so. I'm the type of person who would get scared of an animal, unless it like jumps on me. But like a snake isn't gonna jump on me, and if it's only very sudden, right? But other than that, I don't. I I'm not scared of any animals like snakes. I don't know spiders insects all those stuff they don't gross me out I'm, I'm not scared of them it's just that I don't have the space for it but snakes would be the only one simply because I don't want frozen mice I know some people feed rats as well in my freezer um, and if I were to ever get it it'd probably be a separate freezer just for my pets in that case for snakes I guess if that makes any sense um, two budgies and a lovey asked me what is your favorite species of parrot? Would you get one? Uh, I like budgies and cockatiels. I mean, it'd be unfair to say that those are not my favorite <laughs> because I own them. Um, other than that, because I'm going to try putting them out of their equation, it'd probably be a galah. I really think they're cute. Would I get one? No. Just like the previous question, it's simply because of space. I mean, because I like a bit bigger species, um, my issue with that would be space. Because you would need a larger cage, and I don't have the space for that. Uh, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce their names or your unique YouTube names. So Dennis asked me, I'm just going to go by the first names, because last names are a bit tricky. I don't know, Houston? Anyway, I tried my best. But they asked me, hi Feather Beautiful, my English budgie Woody is a real home. He was so scared when he first came to me and his forever home. Over a year now, he loves his home and of course his daddy, Dennis. My question is, he is scared of water. Can you please give me some advice to help me make bath time enjoyable for him? Many thanks, Dennis. There are many methods that you could use. I would suggest getting a shallow water dish, putting it under the cage, like at the lower, lowest part of the cage. Um, for me, that doesn't really work too well. I know it works for some people, but I find that my birds poop in the water, so kind of useless. Another thing you could do is using that shallow water dish, putting it on top of the cage. If that doesn't work, you could actually put, um, I, I'm assuming your birds are small. Did, did they say they have a budgie? Yeah, they have an English budgie. So, with an English budgie, there are, um, showers or things you could put inside their cage that they could shower I forgot what they're called they're like I'll show images for you guys pretty much you kind of screw those on inside their cage and the bird could take a shower now I think those are great options simply because if your bird is a bit skittish with showers and stuff it's always there in the cage like, I mean you have to replace the water but it's always there so they're less likely to be scared of it another option you have is using a mister hey what's up um, with the mister, um, you could pretty much get it anywhere, even in the dollar store. One thing I really want to get is actually a reptile mister, because you don't constantly have to press the misting section, if you know what I mean. You kind of press it once and then it just shoots water out. So the next question we have is from Kate Smith. She said, um, hey, you said you were going to school for animals. How is that going? It's going to start in September. Um, I am going to, I did apply to vet assistance and vet tech. I got it accepted into vet assistance. Now a lot of people were wondering why I didn't get accepted to vet tech. It's not because of my GPA. Um, the highest GPA you could get in my school is a 4. My GPA is a 3.9. I mean, that's more than enough, I would say so. I was also talking to the course coordinator. 
Um, and I asked why wasn't I accepted because, you know, it's important to know the reasons why so you could improve on those. Um, they typically want to see someone who worked in a shelter or a humane society or even a vet clinic. Um, and I don't have those. I haven't worked in those professional areas uh, when it comes to animals. And so it only makes sense, especially if it's competitive that I didn't get in. What she told me is that most people will do vet assistance and then they'll do vet tech. Um, so I will be doing that. So yeah, that's the reason why. Bird with an E asked me, what are some advice tips on owning a bird, more specifically the cockatiel? This would mean on what do you feed your cockatiels, needs or care. Thanks in advance and take care. Um, I will do a cockatiel care guide if that's what you guys are interested in because that's going to take forever for me to... That's going to take forever for me to um, reply to or... I mean, I'm trying to make this video short, but I will do a care guide for you guys. The one thing I will say that is unique to cockatiels is that they are just like, I don't know if the camera caught it, but they tend to produce more dust. So with cockatiels, I would say more frequent bathing. By the way, muffin seems spooked a little. Is it the noise? Um, I, as for food, diet, nutrition, all that stuff, it's pretty much the same with my budgies. I don't feed them a unique diet. Um, it's the same for all of them. I do notice with their pellets, there's a dust over here. I do notice with the pellets that each bird kind of has a preferred pellet. By the way, there's dust in my eye, but anyway. So yeah, the, the, there really isn't anything too specific. I would think I would say that the only one specific thing would be, um, let me put you to the sand. Come here, step up. Don't look there, so then you won't get freaked out. Okay, there we go. So, <laughs> she's still looking at my dad. So that's the one thing I do notice, that they do produce a lot of dust. So maybe bathing. I think that's the only one unique thing to cockatiels. I mean, yes, every species is different, but the diet should be pretty much the same. And that's like pellet size and stuff. There really isn't much anything unique. Sorry, I, I, I hope that answer didn't disappoint you. I'll do a care guide. If you guys are interested in a care guide, comment down below. Rohila? Sorry, I'm definitely going to butcher some of your names. My apologies. Um, they asked me, how do I get my untamed budgie to take a bath? My other budgie loves to bath. Um, I think it kind of goes with the question that was asked previously by Dennis. Um, I would suggest different methods and also since you do have budgies that do enjoy taking baths I think because you have multiple I would suggest that you kind of make it a group event um, I find that if one of my birds enjoy bathing the others are more likely to enjoy it Denny the budgie hey girl what's up uh, she asked me can we get some photos of your first time getting a bird cage toys food and others there's a lot of dust here. Um, I hope you understand. Also one on my face. Um, yes. Uh, I will show some pictures. I'll probably have like uh, photos showing up in the video. My first cage <clears throat> I got from Pet Value and it was expensive. But I do use the cage and I still have it. Because now it's kind of a cage I use for putting my birds whenever they're kind of unwell, sick, or I'm suspicious of something, I'll put them in there. Initially, Kiwi and Limon were living in that cage, and then I got Snowy. When I got Snowy, I decided to get the Vision cage, and then yeah, I have the big cage. You guys seen my big cages. As for toys, the toys and stuff are pretty much the same. I always got them pretty toys, good toys. Um, Food is, I would say food is the same, but my pellets, they kept changing. So I did try Tops, Harrison's, um, Rowdy Bush, yeah, I, I think those three were the only ones I tried, um, and my birds all have their preferences, yeah, so there's that, I think only the food would be different, but hopefully that answers your question. Frosty Girl asked me a question, she asked me two, yeah, so I'll try answering both of them. The quest first question she asked me is, I need some advice on making my baby cockatiel to eat its own food. It's almost three months, but still doesn't know how to eat. When did your babies learn to eat alone? Mm, it took a while for Blossom. Not so much for Muffin, which is surprising because Muffin is blind, whereas Blossom isn't. As to what, what you could do is, I would suggest mashing food. So 
I'm assuming that they're all formula because three months is a bit old to be on formula. Try pretty much, um, there's a lot of dust on me, seriously. Try putting, um, try making mash. So you could use even pasta, just don't have any oil and salt. You could do rice, brown rice, you could do lentils, just mash them and start using that. What are you doing, baby? <laughs> mash that and try using that. I also suggest millet because when I was when I was trying to wean Blossom, I would find that um, whenever I put seeds, she would just kind of tiptoe on it and it would just go all over the place. But millet seems to be working well. I mean, at that stage, it worked well. I used the same method with muffin. It also becomes a bit tricky because that's the first seeds that they are getting used to. And you really want to not make them addicted to it because then they might not want to try other foods. For that question specifically, maybe maybe send me a DM on Instagram so I could help you a bit more. Frosty Girl's second question is, are you ever going to get Finches and Conyers? If, then which mutation? If not, then what's your reason behind not getting them? Also, do you have any dream bird that you really, really want but you can't get now? I don't plan on getting Finches and uh, Conyers. Um, the reason behind me not getting them is because... They were not a species that I was hugely interested in. Maybe Conyers, but yeah, I'll see about that. But at the time being, I'm not really interested in that particular species. Um, hopefully that doesn't offend anyone, but I think with any animal, there's just preferences. Um, I'm more likely to get a Conyers if we were to complain, uh, compare, compare to a Finch. Yeah. Um, do you have any dream bird that you really, 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 really want but can't get? Macaw. Um, I really like gold, uh, the go blue and gold macaws, um, scarlet macaws, um, even galahs, greys, eclectus parrots. But again, it goes back down to the same answer. I don't have the space for it. Um, so I'm in Rahul asks, my budgie is three years old, but they are not tame birds. I'm trying, but they are scared to see me. Okay, so um, please tell me how um, I tame them pretty much essentially that's what they're asking it kind of goes with the previous question use traditional methods like mullet um also spend a lot of time i know that sounds very cliche but like i said if you spend only five minutes with your birds it's not really gonna help millet seems to be you know mcdonald's for birds they really like millet so i would really suggest millet spend a lot of time also allow them to be outside their cage speak to them eventually they'll get used to it now if you, they haven't ever been outside their cage i would suggest yes baby <laughs> she has lipstick on her i would suggest you touch their cage um and don't say anything i mean start slowly but touch their cage and then kind of get them used to the fact that your hand isn't something that's gonna hurt them you could put seeds on the palm i can't do it because muffins here but put seeds and treats on your palm and see how they react to it now if those don't work you might want to consider clicker training i find that many people find success in that so look into that uh jazzy critters asked me what country do you do you live in uh canada they also asked me who was your first bird i had a bird named kiwi she was green um i don't have a picture of her i was very young um yeah, it's not the kiwi I have now. Uh, do you plan on getting other birds in the future? Yes. Hint, hint. I won't say much more. Uh, Maya or Mia Ariana asked me, favorite species of parrots? Um, budgies and cockatiels, simply because I own them. If I didn't like them, why would I own them? But I really like every other species. Um, galahs, conures, even finches I did say I wouldn't necessarily own them but I do really like them Rohan Agarwal sorry <laughs> they asked me uh, why have you named your channel as Feather Beautiful um, if you actually scroll if you go on my Instagram and you scroll all the way down you'll actually see a different name there on my pictures um, I would put my channel name which was my budgie.03 no it was my dot budgie.03 i changed that because when i got edward i had four budgies so instead of the 03 04 but then after a while i noticed that most um 
Instagram names. It was like my budgies, my pretty budgies, or stuff like that. So I'm like, I want to pick a name where it's very unique, very different. And also, just around that time, I wanted to do YouTube, and I didn't want to put my budgies zero three. Um, so I'm like, I need a new channel name. So I was kind of debating what I should pick, and then I, I picked Feather Beautiful. There's really, there's really no other. I mean, feathers because birds have feathers, and then beautiful because I think birds are beautiful. I mean, that's, that's the reasoning behind it. Catherine, is that how you say your name? Ku? Um, they asked me, what has been the happiest and saddest experience with your birds? I'm not going to say getting kiwi and lemon because obviously when you first get an animal, it's very exciting. I'm gonna say my happiest would be Blossom, not because I got a new bird or a new cockatiel, that wasn't the reason why, but it was because I was feeding a juvenile bird. I think that was very... Um, as for my saddest experience, um, it was when Limon and Snowy passed away. I'll have a picture for you guys. Um, Snowy had bone cancer. Um, I think she she was three years old, I don't even know if she made it to age three, if she did it was by a couple months, maybe one or two months, um, her whole life was with me and I will say I did give her a good life, just owning her, it was expensive, I got it for $30 but I ended up sp spending a total of three grand in her lifespan, uh, when she had cancer, it was very expensive. I think I spent around $1,000 just on vet bills. And I'm only saying that because people get a $30 bird and then they just expect to pray for it and then they die. So I'm just saying that they, they could be expensive. Even though the initial price might be cheap, they, they could be expensive. If you care about them like I do, they could be expensive. Now, Limon passed away because he had renal cancer. Um, he also had, not cancer, a renal tumor which is very different than cancer. He also had a tumor on his leg. Um, surgery wasn't an option on either of them simply because uh, with Limon, um, it was at a very tricky area and then, I mean, the vet couldn't get to it. He said he'd probably die on the table. With Snowy, amputation was something we considered, but because it was cancer and she pretty much had one broken leg and then the other leg had a tumor. It had like a lump on it. So you can't really amputate both legs. I mean, that'd be cruel. So, and unfortunately, even if we did, it was kind of spreading everywhere. It was one of the fastest spreading cancers that my vet said that he sees in younger budgies. So, unfortunately, I just had to watch her die, which I did take her to the vet, um, and she got put down. Whereas the limon, because it was at a very unique area, eventually that tumor pressed on its chest, and he passed away. That was that was probably sad. I I had a hard time dealing with that. I'm not gonna lie. Um Parrot Life asked me how old are you? Twenty five. And what is your favorite kind of bird? Cockatiels and budgies. Uh Mia Ari oh I think she asked two questions. Mia Ariana asked me what do you use to edit your videos? I use Filmora. When I had my Mac I used iMovie. I was planning to get Final Cut Pro but I didn't. With uh what's it called? With my Lenovo, which is a Windows computer, but anyway, um, I use Filmora, which you could use for Macs as well. Um, for th thumbnails and stuff, I use Canva, I use PicMonkey before. Right now, I use Photoscape. I'll have those, um, I'll have it down below on the description just in case you want to look at it. Sarita Ro Rohila asked me, also, there's a lockdown here, and I always have to buy their seeds pellets online i cannot do that now and the seeds aren't gonna last long please help what should i do should i set them free i live in india don't set your birds free um because they're not going to be able to survive if you still haven't run out of seeds you could transition them to um veggies um, and I'm, I'm assuming you're gonna also be running out of pellets so transition them to veggies you could use um eggs and stuff um as soft foods and those could help now if you're completely out of season now you don't know what to do i would suggest again 
offer veggies and stuff but try making it a bit more high in fat um, the reason is because normally there's a transition period and assuming you're just gonna jump from seeds now to veggies they might actually lose weight and that's probably because they don't know that type of food and they're not eating enough so I would suggest a bit uh, I would suggest foods that are a bit higher in fat I did get a question from a DM they're like can you not name me sure I won't name you they said that is there a youtuber you like dislike or a company you like and dislike um youtuber that I like there's many I'll link their channels below live laugh birds hello girl and then there's Denny the budgie hello girl and then there's bird tricks hey guys I mean I don't know there's so many channels out there hi hey, I don't know what else to say um there are many animal channels I do watch other channels like Stephanie Sue just kidding news um as for channels I don't like no there's not or any channel that I have beef with no I don't I mean hopefully not <laughs> I don't have anyone I don't like it's just that there's some channels I don't watch often simply because maybe we don't click in a way or another and that's the same with you guys if you guys don't like this video I'm sure you guys are watching something else so yeah as for companies there are companies I don't like I I really don't like saying that but yeah I don't like many companies um and I'll tell you why because I think I don't think that there's gonna be a company watching this video especially until the end so whatever there are companies that would suggest me products but I refuse those products simply because one I find it sketchy two I'm not sure if those products are safe or you know three because you guys are not going to benefit from it I feel like if I'm sponsoring a channel regardless what it may be that I need to have some kind of code or something to give to you guys so if that's not the case I often reject the offer another thing is there's companies that work with me and they're just sketchy or i just don't like their ethics i recently had a company reach out to me they reached out to me it's not like i reached out to them they said they wanted to work with me and i'm like sure great i'm glad you like my content they emailed me back explaining the conditions they had i agreed with those conditions because it actually was somehow going to benefit you guys you guys were going to get a code and they asked me for photos of my birds and my address. I did give them the photos and I did give them the address. And then um, what had happened is that they emailed me, I think two, three weeks later, saying that they didn't want to work with me because the marketing team didn't agree with it somehow. I mean, I kind of find that weird because wouldn't you kind of talk with your marketing team initially and then you come to me because that's so weird. That really is weird and not to mention you did get my address and my photos. Now I initially thought was this a scam but it isn't because I see a lot of bird, bird accounts now who are actually advertising their products. So I, I know I didn't meet the cut whatever that was I know I didn't meet their expectations. That's completely fine but is it okay for companies out there if you are somehow watching this can you guys figure that beforehand and then reach out to me because I kind of don't want to deal with that. I mean, I'm not trying to give my address to everyone. And I trusted them enough where I did give them my address. I don't care about the photos. You see my birds photos everywhere. It's not that big of a deal. But I gave you my address. That's, that's private information. I guess the future companies, maybe, maybe get yourself figured out and then reach out to me. And I don't care what other people say, but that's just bad business. If they ever reach out to me later on down the line I'm not gonna accept the offer um, because that's just that just leaves a bad taste in your mouth um, and now I know other bird accounts are actually sponsoring their videos um, not their videos like their products um, it's kind of like an animal with a costume on it hint hint I might actually give you a major hint and I'm not gonna say their name because I know they're trying to do their thing and everyone's trying to hustle but it really does leave a bad taste in your mouth so maybe do do better now I want to leave this video on a good note I don't know if I will show my face often maybe here and there maybe often I don't know I don't even know how this video is gonna turn up um, but yeah if you guys want to send me pictures of my birds um, yeah email them I have my email down at the description down below you could email them and then I'll feature your picture and um, a little bit of your description on that picture yes so yeah this is the end of the video this actually took quite a while and I don't even know how it turned out because I didn't edit the video 
hopefully the lighting and stuff are all good because I'm going to be pretty upset if it isn't, but yeah. Ignore me if I was a bit awkward, I'm just naturally a bit of an awkward person, but hopefully you guys like the video. Thank you guys for watching, bye bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye.